and after a very exhausting ride we finally made it to Lila. And Lila is one of the few places in the world where you can swim with these whale sharks. These beauties. And we cannot wait to go into water so let's change clothes and go see our big babies. Last time we've been in whale sharing no slope we didn't have fins and nor did we have a snorkel. We learned from our mistakes and now we're gonna rent these fins. They're gonna be as fast as the sharks swim with them. This is gonna be so much better. Shark briefing is done. The essentials, don't touch the shark, don't get close to his mouth. Don't use the sunscreen because of the yes. chemicals. Chemicals from the sunscreen gets filtered to the corals or through the mouth of the whale shark. So basically the chemicals get inside the body of whale shark if you have any lotion or sunscreen. So don't do that. Last time we've dived in Oslop, it was rainy and now it's looking a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to GoPro. Let's See you enjoy underwater. this. <laughs> Let's enjoy this experience. See you underwater. And we are very, very, very lucky because we arrived here quite late <laughs> and there are not that much people. We are the second to last boat to go there. So we suggest you to come a little bit later. Around 10, 11, because almost no one is here. They've put us on these small boats, even though the shores are located like 20 meters from the shore. Mom, we are okay. being escorted by Excuse this. With the you boat. need to wear a life Look jacket for this short boat ride. 2,000 people arrive every day. In Oslo. In Oslo. In Oslo right and here, here is how much people? It's only 400. 400. And we got the rain. <laughs> and, and it's no small rain, but I guess we're going to the water. Filipino power, here we go! <laughs> He's helping the most! We are out of the water and it was amazing. It was worth coming a bit late because we were the last boat that went into the water to see the shark. So with us there was just like five people swimming with three or four sharks that we saw, which was amazing. But don't expect it to be this empty if you arrive at the peak time, which is around 7 till 9. As we were in Oslo, there were like 100 people at one time swimming with the few sharks. So you're just bumping into each other, hitting heads, fins in your head, nah, nah, not pleasant. So that's one tip from us, come at 10.30, 11 to be the last boat to go there it's far more enjoyable and we have another tip for you the price for the entrance is 1500 pesos per person which includes also goggles and a snorkel but we suggest you to bring your own if you have a chance because usually all of them they are leaking through your nose and the experience is not that good as it would be if you have your own it was getting foggy i tried cleaning it like multiple times and it was not that enjoyable without seeing the shark pretty clearly you have just 30 minutes to swim with the sharks so you don't want to waste time cleaning your goggles all the time otherwise if you have good goggles and snorkel 30 minutes is i think pretty enough time you can swim around there's a guy that will take a gopro and make photos of you so that's plenty of time but you want to see the shark clearly with uh, good goggles and if you are staying like us on Pangla or in Bohol, rent a scooter, it's very cheap here and you can get here by your own and pay just 1500 for the entrance. And compared to the tours you can find on the internet, there are like 60 or 70 euros, it's far more cheaper. So for that price you can come here two or three times even. And that's better than just paying once for the tour guide to take you here by the car. And trust me, you don't want to do this just once. <laughs> <laughs> once is not enough. And as it's finally not raining, in here not like in the morning we're gonna take a good use of this sunny day hopefully and we're gonna go to the Lobok but not on a boat ride we're gonna find something different <music> Welcome to Lobok River Resort but today we are not taking a boat 
No, that boat is not for us, but we're gonna enjoy this river even more. We're taking a stand-up pedal boards, so we can pedal on this amazing green river that is surrounded by so many palm trees. And it's gonna be epic. Welcome to stand-up pedal boarding on the river Lobok. This river is a 22 kilometer long river that has ocean on that side and some waterfalls on that side. It's really green, right? Yes, the water is mixed salty and sweet. And there are a lot of animals living in here. The guys that we have said that there are lobsters and also crabs living here in this water. Guess who has forgot to put the sunscreen on? It's one hour of stand-up pedal boarding in the middle of the day when the sun is the strongest here in Philippines. And uh, we don't have any sunscreen on, so let's hope our base is good. Wow! Oh my god! This looks really, really, really nice! Ooh! Hello, my lady! We are in the jungle and I need to paddle. <laughs> My head! Ah! But this is magical. Wow. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. We are in the middle of some kind of side canal that is full of palms. Even Guy is making the video. <laughs> he wasn't even here before. I have a problem, I'm breached. Something is holding me in the water. <laughs> I cannot move. Like every corner just gets better and better. This is not the typical trip we are supposed to take. We are supposed to be just uh, pedal boarding on the, woo, on the river and we are somewhere here. Lost, lost in jungle, that's what we like. <laughs> I think this is the best detour we have taken. Apart from the mosquitoes that are trying to eat us alive. It's really worth it. Is your first time here? Yeah, first time. <laughs> it's even the guy's first time. Why didn't you come here before? Uh, because there is low tide. The paddle cannot go here if we, water is low tide. Now you, you, it's high tide, so we can go here inside. Ah, okay. So this is possible to do only in the high tide. Man overboard, but it was so hot we needed to take a dip. The water is Whoa. not really clear, I cannot see my own legs, but... It's very refreshing. It's very refreshing. I guess it's because of the mud. There is mud everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our guide, Pons. Hello. Hello. And uh, if you are here in uh, Lobok River Resort, definitely ask for him because he's the best guide. He just said us that this water is not yet green enough because of the heavy rains that were happening lately. It's more of like muddy color, but otherwise it will be green like leaves. So we, I guess we have to return. <laughs> Cheers to amazing day. This drink is actually included in the price of stand-up pedalboard tour. And what's best is that the tour was not limited by time. It was written that the tour is one hour, but the guy that we had, he said like, it's all right. We could do a drone shots, we could swim inside the water. He was very chilled, so whole experience was very, very chilled. It was very different than the whale sharks where they're like shouting 10 more minutes, 5 more minutes, get out of the water. Here it's super laid back and I really like that it's relaxing on the water and there are no other people. And it costs I think 500 per person including the drink. So that's a good find. If you want to experience the Lobok River, try stand up pedal boarding like we did. We hope we have inspired you on what's possible to do in Bohol. It's not just chocolate hills. Thank you for watching and see you at the next adventure. See you somewhere else, my friends. Goodbye.